Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we have another FIFA 19 video for you guys, man. I didn't think I was going to be doing this for another, another couple days, but the database was actually released today, and I didn't know. But, we're going to be taking a look at, like, the cheap, overpowered players that I kind of have in mind, and kind of are am going to, like, make some of the cheap squad builders around. So, in the next couple days, hopefully I should have some uh, cheap squad builders that you guys can build on your first uh, couple of days once you get the EA access, which does drop in about 7 days from from now on the 20th uh, which is gonna be great I'm so so excited to finally get the full version of the game the demo does drop today actually as well I just remembered so let me know what you guys think about that we're gonna get into this we're gonna be on footwiz and foothead mostly footwiz because they have the full database well I think foothead doesn't really have it all just yet but we're gonna be taking a look at some of the players and yeah let's go so, of course, as we started off, we already have the best players right here, Cristiano Ronaldo and all the icons and Lionel Messi and all that stuff. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Advanced Search. And the first thing I want to take a look at, actually, is the Chinese Super League. So, the China Super League, they call it right here. And they don't have the pictures yet. But, um, we are going to go see what the best players from that league are. As I heard that there are some very, very, very overpowered players from that league. So, we have Paulinho, uh, sort of. We have Yannick Carrasco. Uh, we have... Anderson Talishka, who actually looks like a fantastic card with four star, four star as well. Uh, we're actually not going to load these cards in because that's just going to take way too long. Uh, four star, four star for Anderson Talishka is a very good card, but Cambu looks like a fantastic player uh, to start off with. Jonathan Vieira actually doesn't look bad. Oscar looks uh, not really great. Uh, Nicholas Gaison, I forgot about him completely, but as a Cambu, he doesn't even look that bad. Um, Hulk looks pretty nasty, actually. That. How is that an 81 rated card? 80 pace, which is alright. 86 shooting, crazy. And 88 physical with 79 dribbling. Is that 4 star skill moves and 3 star? Man, Hulk is going to be a guy you don't want to mess with. Uh, Alexander Pato as well. 85 pace, 77 shooting, and 80 dribbling. That card with 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot, high low work rate. That's going to be a very good card as well. Uh, Gusta Fernandez, Javier Mascherano, guys that really don't aren't great in the game anymore. Uh, Texera actually looks like a great card. 91 pace, 76 shooting, uh, 82 dribbling. He might lack... He's 4 star, 4 star. He might lack the finishing in the beginning, but I think that's still going to be a very, very decent card. Edder's there. Um, Lovetsy's there. This Edder card actually isn't too bad. 4 star, 4 star with decent shooting, dribbling, and pace. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's still pretty decent. Hernandez, I've completely forgot about him. Uh, Igala, Mukanjo, um, the guy who used to play in the league. Uh, and is that all we have? I, I thought we were going to get like a Ramirez here or something. Um, we have Demba Ba, Mario Suarez. Freddy Guarin doesn't have the pace anymore. So that card isn't really usable as much, um, but still might be decent to use. I mean, it, it, it looks all right. Is there really no Ramirez? Like, I'm actually kind of sad that there's no Ramirez. Like, he might be silver. Um, like, I, I did not see Ramirez here because I thought I was going to see Ramirez, and I thought Ramirez was going to be one of the most disgusting players in this game. But he's unfortunately not here. Next league, we're going to go take a look at. Um, is going to be advanced search right here. I want to go take a look at the MLS. So the MLS is looking for, like in my opinion, um, it's looking like it's going to be one of the better leagues to start your team around. And I think I personally am going to start my team around the MLS just because some of my favorite players uh, currently in the past couple of months are playing there right now. So Josef Martinez, an absolute monster, man. I kind of want to get his hair. I'm not going to lie. Uh, high medium work rates, four out of skills, four star week with 70 shooting that four star skills is insanely like it, it makes him a complete player and it's going to be nice to see how he does play in game one in form and he is literally probably going to be insanely insanely good now Jose Martinez strong link to Almiron perfect this guy has the pace he has the passing he has the shooting he has the dribbling the shooting might be a bit on the lower side yes he has a two star weak foot which I actually just noticed that might be a bit of a downside but four star skills isn't too bad to start off with as well uh, of course you have Romain Alessandrini who has very nice stats still uh, with a four star four star I think that this Alessandrini might be decent to use as well in the beginning of the game Giovanni Dos Santos doesn't look too bad either four star four star high low left foot uh, Michael Bradley just lacks the pace Raul Rui Diaz this guy's gonna be a very very cheap beast from the beginning of the game uh, one of my favorite players right now in world football as well um, as I do love my Peruvians and then Medinjanin uh, actually looks like a very well-rounded card but the pace just lacks a lot um, but there's not really like any um, defenders that make this make make the make the league very very usable like yes okay we have Zach Steffen which is cool um, Andre Horta who doesn't look too great on the in the game uh, Blake 
Like, we don't have any fullbacks. We don't have, like, I know we have Opara somewhere here. I might have already passed him, but Opara looks like a, yeah, right here. 83 pace, 72 defending a bit on the lower side, yes. But 82 physical with 83 pace looks very, very good. Um, Bakary Sanya, 70 pace just lacks a bit. So, I'm going to do my best to try and, like, make a hybrid maybe out of the, like, the front MLS. Um, and then the back, just another, like, completely different league. Now, uh, what other leagues that come to mind when I think of cheap players and um, all that stuff? I mean, to be completely honest, I'm not too sure. I think La Liga is probably going to be an another decent one. We go search right here. Of course, we're going to start out with very high rated players. But as we do work our way down and go into the second page, Saul actually looks like a very nice card to use. That actually looks pretty interesting. Um, of course, we have players like why is Ibra here? I, I, I don't know. I don't think he should be there. Um, but I think these are probably like still too high rated. 83 to start off with are most likely all most likely going to be still too expensive. So I wouldn't go after any of them. Um, but now we get into the players like Gilson Martins from the beginning. I think he's going to be great. Um, he has a three star weak foot and five star skills, which is great. Uh, the shooting is going to turn a lot of people off, which I think is going to be great because people won't use him. Uh, so I would recommend trying him out. I'm not too sure how he's going to play in game. Uh, Gonzalo Guedes, another player who I think is going to be fantastic from the beginning. Uh, Clemens long lay I think that's how you say his name um, looks like a very very solid defender to start off your team I would definitely go with him party as well 80 defending 82 physical 75 pace like man that card actually looks very very good as well uh, Jeffrey Condog be a 73 pace 83 defending 88 physical like get I'm actually liking this league a lot. Thomas, get Thomas Party, get Kondogbia. Those two will literally destroy every single midfield the first couple of weeks um, of FIFA. Sebastian Giovinko's here again. I don't know why. Uh, this Daniel Vaz card the past two years has been great. I don't know why, but every time I play with him in game, he just plays like he is on a complete other level. Um, next up, what else do we have? We have Williams, who is a striker now with four star skills and three star. We could have been on the lower side, yes, but great physical, great dribbling, great great shooting and great pace this guy's going to be one of the most overpowered and overused guys in the first couple of weeks in the game as well uh this jason murillo guy another great card from the league a 76 pace 80 defending 80 physical like to start off that is a great card this ben yetter 85 pace 78 shooting 84 dribbling with five star week for four star skills this guy looks just incredible gamero another guy 85 pace 80 shooting with four star skills three star week fit like I'm, I'm liking this league so far. Odrazoa, a guy with 81 pace who's going to start off at right back and going to be great. Um, I think he's definitely a guy you want to go with. Uh, Nelson Semedo is probably going to be like nearly 10k when the game does come out, so I'm not too sure if he's too... Um like, it, like if people want to go ahead and spend that much on him, but this Mariano card as well, another great card with great pace, shooting, and physical, definitely like a target man striker that you can go ahead and put in your team with four star weak foot. Like, I think this La Liga, um, these La Liga players are actually going to be some, some, some good ones. I mean, we just need like a, what, a left back and then some, something like that, and then we'll be good. Like, if we get left back Antoine, as who, or Antunia, sorry, um, who doesn't look crazy good but i i'm pretty sure there's gonna be something like cheap left backs who are super like affordable search did i put search no hello what what just happened gold left backs from la liga okay we have uh Oh, it's just going to show me from the whole game. I do not want the whole game. I want La Liga. Okay, after this, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, Premier League, and then we're going to be done because I feel like, I, one, I'm talking too much, and two, this video is getting too long because I just want to get straight into the um, thing you guys want to see, which is mostly Premier League. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Anymore. You guys go find your own left backs, but we're going to go take a look at the Premier League um, right here. How do I unselect the other league? There we go. So Premier League search. We're going to take a look at some of the Premier League players, which look like they're going to be uh, on the on, uh, a bit on the cheaper side. These guys are definitely going to be way too overpriced from the beginning of the game. And in my opinion, some of them are just aren't, aren't that great because they lack a lot of pace. Like the Manu Matic right here, you see uh, Toby Alderweireld. Fernandinho even lacks a bit of pace, which I don't know why he got such a big downgrade. And I don't really think he deserves it. Um, Anthony Martial, 83 rated. 89 pace, got downgrade on the pace. Shooting um, is still great. Dribbling is still pretty good too, and physical, he got downgraded on weak, but that's going to be interesting because that might turn a lot of people off from him as well. Gabriel Jesus, 83-rated striker, decent card, decent card. I think he got downgraded on weak foot as well, 
that is kind of heartbreaking. Uh, Musa Dembele looks like a great card once again. Uh, Fabregas, Willian. Willian looks still decent still. Socrates looks awful. Uh, Kyle Walker, once again, just probably going to be the best right back in the game. Uh, Lacazette looks like a very decent striker. Hume Ming Son, probably the best 84 rated card in the whole game. Davinson Sanchez looks like a very, very good like middle ground center back. 76 pace, 84 defending, 82 physical. And yeah, man, that's that's what we have so far. But I want to show you guys one 82 rated card, which I saw on Twitter. People were saying he was going to be super overused. Um, this Mateo Kovacic card is going to be great. Keppa and Pickford, those two are going to be so, so, so overused, man. Tell, like, I'm telling you right now, so you're going to see them in every single team the first couple of weeks. Rue Patricia was well. I didn't think about him. Uh, Jean-Michael Seri, another great card. Fred, another great card. Jamie Vardy, another great card. Uh, but these cards are going to be seen so much that you guys kind of want to go for like these odd players. This Wilfred Zaha card with five star skills, great pace, great shooting, and decent physical in game. He's going to be very, very good. I really recommend you guys go ahead and give him a try. Karen Trigger with a nice uh, upgrade right there to an 82 rated card as well, uh, which is nice for him. Marco Arnautovic striker card would be decent from the beginning. Uh, Antonio Valencia still looks like a decent card. I mean, 85 pace is definitely, definitely usable. Ricardo Pereira, this guy's going to be so, so good. I recommend going, going ahead and putting him in your team if you can. Benjamin Mendy looks like a very, very good card as well. Uh, Serge Aurier, why he still is, or did he get downgraded? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. What we have for like the cheap starter players for the Premier League squads. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy the like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think about these cheap players to start off your FIFA 19 squads with. And we're going to be doing more of these videos, but more in depth where we go into like actual squad builders on like foot hand and footways using the whole database and showing you guys the best players you guys can use for your starter team. So yeah, guys, so where I will in the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.